Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. In today's video, we're gonna show how to do 3D surfacing in our ProtoTrack, and we are using the VMC2 this time. We've had a lot of requests on the internet to ask to show this, and before we get started, I wanna tell you a few things. As you can see in the window here, we are actually doing the roughing portion of a spherical part that we're going to cut here. And uh, while it's still roughing, I wanted to explain some things. First of all, what you're seeing in here is not any different if it was running in one of our DPM open machines, in one of our TMCs, our older models of uh, older controls or our LPM. It's really the same. Keep in mind that this is very much a full functional VMC. It just happens to be compact. It can be used for anything from secondary operations to full on machining. And what we're doing today is just taking a three by three block and cutting a sphere in it. So I'm using a three ace end mill, flat end mill to rough out the part, first of all. And this whole program is in G code. Okay. And then after it finishes doing the roughing portion of this, it's going to do a tool change to a quarter inch ball nose end mill. And then it's going to finish the surface in both uh, 45 degree angles. So 180 degrees from the other. Okay. And so, um, when we get done here, I'm just going to get out of the way so that you guys can kind of see what's happening. And our GoPro is inside the machine, capturing it up nice and close for you. So you should get a really good idea. And I'll be back to talk about it when we get to the end. Okay, so as you can see, here's the completed part. I noticed that I did make one mistake in the intro when I said that the second pass was gonna be 180 degrees to the first one, it was actually 90, right? So it did the rougher cut when it went across in the 3D surfacing and then came back the opposite direction, corner to corner to finish off the parts. So hopefully you can get a pretty good sight of what's going on here. And I did wanna talk about a few other things just to make sure that we're clear, right? This VMC is no different than any other product that we make. So again, all of our machines can do this type of work. And in a previous video, I showed how to do it using canned cycles with the conversational language. This is much more involved and you can do much better finishing this way than to use rotations and things like that. So you are going to get a much nicer looking part doing it this way. But hopefully this gives a lot of people out there a little better perspective on what our controls can actually do, whether it's simple prototyping or fixturing or tool making or even stuff like this that includes 3D surfacing. OK, um, also on the control, I, I didn't mention, but you'll see there's little snippets in here that show the G code flying by and show the surfacing as it's happening and everything else. So this should also help with the way that you guys perceive what the control and what the machine itself can do. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you got a lot out of it. And until I see you in the next video, remember, as always, to keep on tracking.